Hello and welcome to finance work. Uh, in this video, we'll calculate uh, beta. So, calculation of uh, beta is uh, important. So, in this video, we'll check uh, how to calculate uh, beta of uh, company Colgate. Okay. So, calculation of beta of uh, Colgate. Okay. So, uh, in this video, we'll see how to take uh, data from uh, uh, national stock uh, exchange website and uh, uh, how to calculate beta see uh, nowadays you get uh, data uh, freely online on uh, some websites but uh, if you are going for an interview uh, for equity research uh, or uh, uh, definitely for financial analysis uh, interviewer will ask this question uh, about beta how to calculate beta so in this case if you know how to calculate beta you will uh, be able to face uh, the question confidently fine okay so we'll start with uh, 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 data collection so go to uh, nscindia.com which is a website of national stock exchange See, first of all, you need uh, data of uh, uh, two variables, two ranges. First is uh, of uh, benchmark, that is uh, Nifty here. And uh, second, the company's uh, uh, share price in last one year. So we are going to see the uh, regression part here, for, uh, like how uh, share prices and share price returns are related to market returns. Uh, first here you go to products uh, menu go to indices go to historical data okay uh, go to historical index data click on search okay so we need data for S&P CNX Nifty we need a time period so let's say today is 25th of uh, September so you want uh, data from 25th of September 2011 sorry two thousand eleven okay so uh, 20 where is 25th okay 25th here is 25th September 2011 to yesterday 24th September 2012 click on get data okay so here is uh, uh, data for last one year since the data range is uh, bigger one you need to download this file in csv format so it's getting downloaded okay so save your file okay so if you want to save this file by this, the same name click on save okay now go to okay double click you want to open this data now the this data is here starting from first column that is uh, date open high clo low close uh, then uh, share studied and turnover in rupees crore uh, for beta calculation we need only uh, two values that is date and close price so rest of the columns you can delete right click and delete same with these columns right click and delete okay so we have uh, 
got this data from 26 September 11 till uh, you want to see the range so the last value is uh, 24 September 2012 so we need to copy this data okay shift right click and uh, down arrow key it will take a lot of time so you can uh, say shift and uh, page down page down okay so here is data control C go to our Excel sheet and the control V fine so we have got this data for uh, nifty nifty closing okay now we have got this benchmark data for the same uh, data uh, date range we need data for our, uh, our company that is Colgate go to NSC okay go to products go to equities fine so you go to historical data you need uh, historical data so in this case uh, day wise uh, turnover statistics view Uh, here you need to go to security wise uh, price volume archives okay so here uh, this drop down check security wise price volume data enter symbol you want to see uh, which uh, symbol uh, has for Colgate so go to this gate code text box type C O L G A T E that is our company's name so here this C O L P A L is uh, symbol for this company Colgate Pamulu India go to this uh, text field C O L P P A L okay now select series since we want this for equity you need to check uh, equity EQ okay we want this period either a one day or uh, seven days 365 days or 24 months we can select or uh, we can give a time bound range that is select a time period in this case we have uh, already selected range for nifty benchmark fine so we want it for uh, this uh, Colgate also from uh, 25th September 2011 to uh, 24th of September 2012 okay click on get data okay so like uh, in a nifty uh, benchmark data here also the range is quite huge for one year so you need to download this in CSV format save files say okay okay so this uh, file is saved click uh, double click on uh, this file okay so here it is we have got uh, data for Colgate 2 what we need to check is whether we have got really data for Colgate uh, so C-O-L-P-A-L -L, this uh, will uh, confirm series EQ then date from 26 September uh, to 24 September okay so one thing uh, check go to our uh, calculation sheet and check uh, 
whether we have got this data from 26 September so it's the data is matching okay fine so here, here is data for Colgate uh, as uh, discussed earlier uh, we need data only for uh, two columns that is date and closing price so all, all other cells you can uh, delete right click and uh, click on delete right click and delete okay remove all other extra columns okay so here it is we uh, have uh, got this data that is closing price and the date so select this shift right arrow and page down okay control C go to our, our sheet and uh, leave a column here and uh, copy paste control V okay so 26 September 11 and 26 September 11 the data is matching just go down go to uh, end of uh, uh, data table and check whether it is for same uh, data period 24 September 12 and it is 24 September 12 so uh, data is matching okay now once you uh, collect this data from uh, different website that is here uh, it is national stock exchange website the next uh, point is to calculate uh, daily returns okay so here put name uh, daily returns okay in percentage terms fine okay so you start from this cell equal to latest figure minus previous figure okay this divided by previous figure into 100 okay so you've got this data in percentage terms if you want you can uh, reduce decimal points and put only two uh, you can uh, drag it till the last date in uh, this table okay fine after getting a daily returns in percentage terms for uh, nifty you want it for Colgate so Colgate uh, closing price okay uh, here it is uh, daily returns of uh, Colgate okay in percentage terms fine okay so start from this cell we need to repeat the procedure let us figure minus previous one divided by base has to be the previous one multiplied by 100 press enter as I said you can go to this menu and uh, keep only two decimals drag it till the last value uh, in this table which is 24 September okay fine so we've got this data for Colgate also okay if you want you can give uh, you know heading uh, header uh, uh, color uh, you can give font head, heading font a color you can give white make it bold so that you understand and uh, shift
page down, shift and page down. We select this data. Okay. So give, you can give this outside borders to this table. Okay. So here is this data. Now, uh, the important formula for calculating beta is slope function. So, slope function will uh, do the trick. So, beta is equal to slope slope bracket open start with uh, companies returns so select this range shift and uh, page down okay fine after selecting this range uh, put a comma and uh, go to benchmark returns here it is nifty select this range shift and page down okay so uh, once you have selected this range bracket complete and press enter okay see the beta beta is uh, now 0.19 so beta of uh, colgate is 0.19 fine so uh, i would say this calculation is uh, important and you need to know uh, the you need to know calculation of beta how beta is calculated now the same way you can calculate beta for other companies as well beta as you know is uh, as i as i have already cleared in uh, uh, my earlier videos beta is a, a figure which tells you uh, how sensitive the uh, particular companies uh, market uh, companies returns are related to market returns so if beta uh, uh, is let's say 1.2 Two, then uh, it, it has a 20% uh, more sensitive related to market uh, returns and if beta uh, is uh, uh, 0.8 T so in that case it is uh, same way uh, it, it will uh, have 20% uh, uh, you know uh, less sensitive related to uh, market so in this case it is nifty so in some industries uh, uh, let's say in biotechnology or uh, technology companies this beta is higher uh, whereas uh, some utility companies and fmcg companies the beta is on lower side okay so with this uh, 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 complete uh, beta calculation that's all uh, uh, for this uh, in this video thank you